vlog because I have one of those days where I don't have loads of sort of work on so I have a bit more of an interesting day I just have lots of little odd jobs that I really want to get done around the cottage around the yard that sort of thing and obviously gonna be riding the horses later this afternoon I actually have a lesson on Joey so really looking forward to that so I'm currently just doing my skincare routine which is something that I've been really enjoying I find it so peaceful and relaxing in my mornings kind of having it in my routine I've got to say my skin has been feeling a lot better from it because I'm one of those people that I actually have really dry skin so just put some toner on vitamin c serum and then moisturizing and then of course gonna finish it up with some SPF because it's supposed to be really sunny today but I thought I would show you a little bit of what the cottage is looking like upstairs because I've actually moved quite a lot of furniture and it looks so different to when you last kind of saw what it was looking like so this is my new bed I say it's new bed this is the exact same one that I had when it was in my loft but it just looks like it looks like a bedroom now you know it's got all the paneling and the back which is pretty and then around here we have the dressing room with the kind of matching colored wardrobe so everything Everything's sort of coming together a little bit more in the cottage. And then last but not least, we also have my new dressing table here as well, which I absolutely love because I can sit here and I can look out over the garden while I'm doing my makeup in the morning. So I'm just gonna quickly do that and then it'll time to head over to the horses. So this is my normal sort of everyday makeup kind of look. The reason why my makeup is currently in a makeup bag, this is my travel one. I still haven't like totally unpacked everything. So I still have quite a lot of stuff at my mum and dad's. So I do kind of need to fill up my kind of storage area slash dressing table with all of my makeup from back there so that's another thing that I just need to do I have lots of little things like that I just need to get done so anyway on with the day horses had their breakfast they're now out the yard is looking so tidy I've got to say this time of year kind of May time I'd say it's the perfect time to be like an equestrian or just like weather wise because it's warm but not too hot the flies aren't quite out yet and the mud has all dried up as well so you only get kind of like a few days slash I didn't even know, like a week maybe, of this kind of really nice weather. Also, this hanging basket here, the amount of times I've been mucking out or doing something and I've hit my head on this, especially if I have a helmet on or like a cap which has a peak and I will just go bash straight into it. So as much as the hanging baskets do look really beautiful, um, the amount of times all of us just around the yard have hit our head on it, it is not good. <laughs> not very practical. Something that isn't looking too neat and tidy though is my tack room. This has kind of become like a dumping zone so I really need to sort that out and then yeah I just have boots everywhere, boots that are dirty that I need to clean. I don't know what has happened here, it honestly looks like some sort of bomb has gone off but hopefully today I will now get this all nice and tidy and organised because it's one of those things I've been needing to do for a while and now I actually finally have some time to do it. And I said, ooh, ooh, what for the absolute disgrace that my boots currently are. They are not looking good. Um, I took Casper for a ride yesterday and there was a gate and Casper does not like getting his legs wet. He does not like getting his legs muddy and it was a really muddy gateway. So of course I had to get off, do the gate and I was in a bit of a rush yesterday. I needed to get somewhere after a ride. So this is what my boots currently look like. I did not wash them yesterday. did not have time for that. So um, we're now gonna fix these up and yeah apologies Ariat. I promise I look after my boots a lot better than this. Don't do what I do. Always clean your boots. I'm gonna love you when we're old and great. 
when our eyes don't see very far away. You might be wondering, Esme, what on earth are you doing? So behind me here, I have lots of metal sheets to try and make into a new metal feed bin to go into the feed room. Because currently I only have one, which has three compartments, but I do need some extra ones to just put extra treats in, Joey's oats that we're going to be trying with him, because he's been a little bit more on the kind of chilled side lately so Bailey's recommended us giving some to him we're gonna we're gonna give it a go see how it goes but I'm gonna basically try and put this together I'm gonna try and make it fun pretend I'm doing some sort of weird ag adult lego that's what I was thinking when I put stuff together but hopefully I've, I mean I've done it once before hopefully I can remember how to do it and I can do it again All right, so two of the sort of panels are now up and I've been using this thing called a riveter that I've had to learn how to use today. Oh my goodness, I did not realize how much sort of muscle power you need. I'm also such a jumpy person, so every time I do it, I literally scream. It's so embarrassing, but there we go. It's because it's like, you, you have the anticipation of the loud bang or this like pressure when it goes through. But yeah, it makes me jump. But hopefully this is actually a little bit easier that I thought when I first saw it, I was looking at this instruction manual being like, I cannot tell the different pieces apart, but now it's looking, it's looking more box shaped. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm gonna love you with the words on my mouth, with the words on my hands. Don't you ever doubt I'm gonna love you with soft little kisses. You'll be my mister and I'll be been in the feed room if I back goodness me if I back up a little bit um if you can tell by me almost falling over it um it's quite a bit bigger than the other one I actually thought it was the exact same one obviously not because the other one oh my goodness I need to sort my life out you can just go down here get out of the way <laughs> all good okay so this one it is kind of like a hand if we go in horse measurements it's a hand smaller what was the hand like four inches um but if i lift it up here it is absolutely huge so i'm thinking because there's like no food left in the smaller one i could put food in the bigger one so hopefully a new bag of chaff will fit in here perfectly and then i can put treats and things in the old one so i'm gonna give that a bit of a clear out and put everything in I've only put one bag in and it honestly looks empty. It looks like I've barely put anything in there. This bin is huge. Finally, the moment is here. I have finished doing the feed room. That took a little bit longer than I expected because I did give it like a deep clean, like I mopped the floors. I also had to completely retake apart the metal feed bin because that was one bit that I did wrong. So that took some extra time. Um, I also gave the tack room a bit of a hoover. So I'll put some clips over the top of how it's looking now because everyone is just looking so much neater, tidier. It's one of those jobs doing that metal feed bin that I've, like I ordered it months ago. And it's one of those things because I knew it was gonna be a faff. I knew it was gonna take forever. But I feel really good at myself because I've done that job and it looks so much better, it's so much more organised. I don't just have like treats and like my Silvermore kind of like treat blocks, um, grass -abix and swingers just like in a cardboard box up on the top shelf. Don't want mice or any rodents to get in there either. So having all in a metal feed bin makes me so happy and yeah, I feel very accomplished. Although a lot of time has passed, it is now lunchtime. I'm absolutely starving so i'm gonna go get something to eat and then i'm gonna have to sort of figure out how much more time i have to do everything else today i've had my lunch luckily it's casper's day off today but i do have a lesson with joey so i've just got into my riding gear it looks like it's gonna rain a little bit but luckily we are in an indoor for our jumping lesson um also i'm currently in like my loft slash my old bedroom slash the new office so if it's a bit echoey that's because there is literally no furniture in here there's those like cardboard boxes so hopefully soon look out for a office i was gonna say office renovation an office kind of 
move in vlog I guess I'm gonna be putting all my furniture together moving the computers up here so I'm really looking forward to that but anyway I need to go and groom Joey get him in the horse box and get him to our lesson all right so Joey is all clean he's got his travel boots on he's also just had his second poo in the wash bay just as I've cleaned up the first he's gone and done another so classic Joey anyway he's got all of his stuff in the horse box so we are now ready to go and I think he is very excited he is looking forward to it and he is raring to go I ain't going down down with ya if you're going down down get ya someone new moment I think it's because he's had so much time off because of his injury he's just still a little bit unfit at the moment so like I mean he felt really good in the sense that like he didn't refuse any fence it's not that he's like a really a stopper but um he didn't like I think he, we had one pole that was right at the beginning where he was a bit like oh okay the fences are a bit bigger now but apart from that like he was clearing all the fences he just like kind of clears them all with a little bit of like minimal effort same with his canter like he has a bit of a slow lollopy canter and then a few strides before the fence is like okay I'll try a little bit more and I'll pick my legs up so um, we're working on trying to get like a bit of a bigger better more impulsive canter um, so we're gonna try him on the oats we're gonna give him a clip and we're also gonna do lots of hacking I think he is just generally really unfit like he really enjoys it and he's taking me to the fences just at a less energetic pace so um yeah lots of packing and hopefully he'll get a little bit fitter but apart from that he felt really good especially the last kind of couple of fences he gave me that air time he really sort of picked his legs up a little bit more and felt incredible so hopefully more of that but i am gonna finish today's vlog here because i'm really not doing much this sort of afternoon evening i have some editing to do i've got some admin to do so kind of office -y things I feel like isn't that entertaining for you guys to watch but um let me know also if you'd like to see more vloggy vlogs like this because I really enjoy filming them I've had so much fun today also thank you so much for watching today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time bye